Hey, it's Dino from Apogee, and I got a quick screencast. I want to show you the uh, Treat as Array option, which is new for the XML to JSON policy that's part of Apogee Edge. Uh, now, in some cases, people have input XML documents that convert in a way that they don't prefer. So let's have a look at this XML. What we see is a simple XML document, and it's got t uh, a root element and then two child elements underneath that, both of which are named item. Uh, and have some other information, have some other children. XML to JSON and Apogee Edge will convert this to a JSON document that infers that item is an array type. So that's great uh, and uh, often works really well. But uh, the problem is uh, that when uh, converting from an XML document that doesn't have multiple child elements, uh, it, the XML to JSON policy will not infer the array. And this uh, mostly works, but in cases where you're kind of, sometimes your document looks like this, sometimes your XML payload looks like this, and you've got two or more child elements, then it'll get to be an array. And sometimes it looks like this, and you only have one child element, then the output JSON does not have an array in the place that you'd want. And that makes it hard for the consuming developers because it's a diff different programming model uh, in, the, in the consumption side when you're dealing with the JSON. So what can we do about this? Well, what we've done in the uh, XML to JSON policy uh, is introduce a new option. So this is the, this is the old kind of uh, standard XML to JSON configuration, not much to it. But we have a new option now. It's called Treat as Array. And what I'm showing you here is an API proxy that I've already configured in Apigee Edge in the cloud. And this is what the configuration looks like. And basically what I'm saying is, uh, with this path, treat that element as an array in the output, regardless of how many child elements you see. Uh, and uh, what that's going to do is whether we have an, a source document that looks like this with just one element or like this with two elements, we're going to see uh, the JSON be uh, an array in both cases. So let's have a look at what that, what that looks like in practice. Uh, let me go back and get my uh, curl command. Um, so we'll drop that in here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm passing in uh, the uh, source input that has the, the two child elements. You'll see it's, it's being rendered uh, with an array in the output. This is the old version. It's always rendered as an, as an array in output. Uh, so you can get a, a, a nice close view of that. Now let's switch to the, um, to the case where we're passing just one, uh, an XML document with just one element. Uh, and now you'll see Sure enough, that uh, JSON is not uh, including an array. And what we want to do is try that with the uh, other transform, the new option, the treat as array option. And I've got that kind of hooked on just a different URL path and the same API proxy. You'll see me run that. And now I'm getting the, uh, the item to be an array. And that is true whether, uh, sorry, whether the, um, the input has a single element or multiple elements. So let's have a look at what it looks like with uh, two elements. There's my curl command, and you can see that's uh, really nice. Now, one additional option you might want to say, well, now I've got this root item hierarchy, and then the item itself is an array. What if I wanted to strip that item out? It's not really helpful to me in my programming model on the consumption side. So can I clean that up kind of automatically? And yep, there's a... Let me flip back to the, um, the configuration. There's a, an unwrap option that says uh, just dispense with that array element. So we'll, we'll uh, make it an array and then get rid of that element. And let me show you what that looks like in, uh, in practice. So it's actually a different URL path. Uh, we'll just use unwrap here. And now you'll see that we get the array, but we don't have that, um, that item element that's just sitting there doing nothing. So that's it. That is uh, XML to JSON with a new treat as array option. And uh, I'll point out that you can get all the code for this uh, in GitHub. Uh, so it's all available in, the, in this repo. And um, the full readme explains the whole thing, got working code, and a way to provision and run the demo uh, automatically.
So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.